Hi, in this lesson, we'll learn about cryptography and explore a historical cipher called the Caesar cipher. The internet is an open place. When you're sending digital information over the internet, the information you are sending can be read by anyone. Still, we share a lot of sensitive information over the internet. We're sending out our credit card information, our health records, bank accounts, and passwords. All of this information can be picked up by someone who's listening. So we need a way to keep this information secret when we're sending it over the internet. This is where cryptography comes in. Cryptography is a practice of encrypting information so only authorized people can read it. Cryptography uses encryption, which is the process of converting information into an unreadable form. This helps to keep it secure from unauthorized access. Only those with verified authority, such as a password or a secret key, should be able to unscramble the message and read the original information. It's like putting your message in a secret language that only those who know the code can understand. Let's go over some of the words that are used when talking about encryption. You start with a readable message. This is called plain text. Anyone can read it easily. Then you encrypt the message using a key. A key is a value or variable that is used during encryption. The message cannot be decrypted or unscrambled without knowing this key. The message that results from encryption is called ciphertext. This cannot be read unless you decrypt it using the key. If you use the encryption and key to change plain text to ciphertext, this is called encryption. If you reverse the process and go from ciphertext to plain text, it's called decryption. And you can only do this if you know the key. There are many different career opportunities in the field of cryptology. A cryptographer uses math and physics to come up with new ways to encrypt data. They must be sure that their encryption techniques are strong enough to prevent someone from decrypting the information. A crypt analyst tests encryption methods by attempting to break in and decrypt them. They may work with a cryptographer and attempt to break their encryption. If they can get through, then the encryption must be made stronger. Crypt analysts can also help out in criminal investigations in ways such as bypassing security features and breaking into a mobile phone of a criminal to find evidence. Cryptology is the study of both encryption and decryption. So a cryptologist would work on creating encryption methods as well as trying to break these methods. Let's talk about the history of cryptography. A classic example of a historical cipher is the Caesar cipher. Around 100 BC, Julius Caesar was known to use a form of encryption to convey secret messages to his army generals posted at the warfront. Each letter of the alphabet is shifted by a key value. Since there are 26 letters in the alphabet, there are 26 keys. Here, we can see that a key of three would shift all letters over three spaces. This would replace all A's with D's and replace all B's with E's and so forth. Let's take a closer look. This is a Caesar cipher wheel. The ring in the middle is the original message or the plain text, and the purple ring on the outside is the cipher text. If we choose a key of three, we can see that all A's are now D's and all B's are now E's. Let's try a different key. Let's try 20. Now we see that all A's turn into U's and all Bs turn into Vs. And we can use the key 26. That just brings us back to the beginning. As are now As again, and Bs are now Bs again. The Caesar cipher is classified as a substitution cipher. This means that each character or symbol of the plain text is substituted by another character to form the cipher text. If you know the key for each character, such as Bs are substituted with Es, well, then you would just reverse that process to decrypt the code back to the original message and change all E's back to B's. All right, now it's your turn to explore. Have fun.